Hello students, welcome to Ishwari Tariksha channel. Students, in this video, I will show you how to create your APAR ID. Who should create this APAR ID is, if you are writing NEET UG 2025 examination, then you have to create your APAR ID. It is very simple. Within 5 minutes, you can create sitting at your home. So, it is not required that you go to your school or colleges to create this APAR ID. ID. So, students, uh, I am showing you how to create this APAR ID using your mobile phone. So, if you have your mobile phone, it is sufficient, you can create your APAR ID. So, first step is go to Google search and type DigiLocker. So, when you type DigiLocker, the first one you can see here, DigiLocker. So, here click on that. When you click on DigiLocker, a page will open like this. So, here in this you can see top you have sign in. So, if you have already created an ID, you can sign in directly or else if you are a new user, even then you can click sign in. So, when you click sign in, next page will be this. That is sign into your account. So, if you are a new user, what you have to do is, down you can see, do not have an account, sign up. So, if you are new user, use sign up. If you have already created an ID, then directly you can sign in. So, now we will uh, go for sign up. That is, you have not created an ID. So, we are going to create an ID first. So, click on sign up. When you click on sign up, you will get a page like this. Creating account is fast and easy. Full name. So, see your 10th standard marks sheet. In that, uh, your name will be there. So, as it is, you have to type your full name. So, I will be typing here Ishwari S. So, uh, type your full name and then date of birth. So, your date of birth you can type. And then male, female, others. So, you can click that and then mobile number give your mobile number that is the mobile number which is linked to aadhar card so that mobile number you have to give here and then email id it is not mandatory if you want you can give next is set six digit security pin so any numbers six numbers you have to give so you can give one two three four five six or you can give your date of birth so that you can remember easily any six numbers you have to type here that you have to remember then give submit button so once you give submit button this page will open verify mobile otp to your mobile uh, a otp will be generated so that otp you have to enter here so after you enter give submit button then this page will open verify your aadhar to avail the complete feature of your digi locker account so enter your aadhar number so after enter after you enter your aadhar number then give next then this page will open verify aadhar otp again one more otp will be sent to your mobile number so check the mobile so in that mobile one more otp will come so that otp you have to enter here so, once you enter the OTP, then give submit button. Then this page will open. So, here in the search button, type APAR ID. So, when you type APAR ID, this will open. See here below, Academic Bank of Credits. So, type on that, Academic Bank of Credits. So, if you type, the, if you click on that, a page will open like this. Get your document by entering the required details. Name. So, already it will be given here. So, my name is already given. Then, date of birth will be already given. Then, gender already given and mobile number. number. So, all these four things will be already given in that. And then, below if you see, you will get identity value. So, you have to enter the identity value. I will tell what it is. So, below that you will have identity type. Then, fourth, third you have admission year. Then, you have I am a student at. 
these four things you have to enter it correctly so coming to identity identity value so students if you are in uh, second pc now you have to enter 10th standard roll number or if you have already completed second pc and if you are a dropper you can uh, enter roll number of second pc what you have completed so here second identity type what you have so if you click on that identity type you will get four options like this five options see identity type you will get roll number registration number enrollment number new admission none so you will get this five types in that click roll number so after clicking the roll number see uh, roll number will come here so above that identity value so roll number you have to enter 10th standard roll number you can enter there so after you enter your 10th standard roll number admission year you have to enter so admission year what you will enter here is suppose 10th standard if you have completed in two, uh, 2020 so here what you have to enter is 2019 one year less you have to enter if it is 2015 then enter 2014 see in the marks card what it is given in 10th standard marks card if it is given that you have completed 10th standard in 2020 here you have to enter 2019 and then below that you have i am a student at so there if you click so in the search button you give karnataka so below that you will get so many options like this karnataka sanskrit university karnataka school examination and assessment karnataka secondary education examination board so students if you have entered 10th standard marks card roll number then enter this karnataka secondary education examination board or suppose if you have entered second pc roll number so suppose if you are a dropper uh, you have already written second pc examination so second pc marks card will be with you so then you enter this karnataka state board department of pre university so that you have to enter or if you are from cbsc board so then uh, you will get the option uh, cbsc so that you have to enter so after entering that you have to give submit button so once you give your submit button you are apr id will be generated so in that apr id so you can see 12 digit id will be given so that is what is apr id so this you can create in your mobile phone itself so you can try so no need of going to your uh, uh, school or colleges to ask this apr id so sit at home and you can generate it so keep your aadhar id and this apr id ready for your neat examination once the application is released for the registration process this two are very important ids so hope it is useful to you i'll meet you in the next video students all the very best